At the age of 38, Ronaldo continues to deliver peak performances on the football field, displaying the same energy and skill as when he first entered the professional league. While he is known for his dedication and hard work as a footballer, his penchant for extravagance and luxury living is equally remarkable. In this video, we look inside Cristiano Ronaldo's $300,000 per month home in Saudi Arabia. We take a peek into the lavish lifestyle he has embraced since his transfer to Saudi Arabia. From opulent hotels to extravagant lifestyles, from high-end cars and yachts to private jets, we get a glimpse of Cristiano Ronaldo's The Player's Opulence, The Kingdom Suite. Cristiano Ronaldo is thoroughly enjoying a life of extravagance and luxury in Saudi Arabia. From envy-inducing supercars to occupying numerous lavish suites in the most opulent hotel, the Portuguese superstar and his family are relishing every moment of their time in Saudi Arabia. Cristiano Ronaldo wasted no time in ensuring he and his family were treated like royalty in their new home. After his departure from Manchester United, he surprised the football world by joining a Saudi Arabian team. Al Nasser's offer made him the highest paid footballer in history, and he's living up to that status with his lavish lifestyle. Cristiano and his family are experiencing a remarkably luxurious life in the Middle East, and they seem to be thoroughly enjoying it. The star strike who has become incredibly wealthy with his move to Saudi Arabia, is living in accommodation that's fit for a king. He has the best view of the capital city and is staying in the Kingdom Tower, one of the tallest buildings in the country. He and his entourage, including family, friends and security personnel, are occupying one of the finest suites Riyadh has to offer. With a total of 17 rooms, Cristiano Ronaldo's needs are impeccably taken care of in the plush suite of the hotel. The suite sizes are expansive, with the largest rooms covering more than 3,500 square feet. He's staying in the giant size suite for a month, which stretches across two floors in the 99-story building. The cost of his accommodation is not publicly disclosed, but the opulent nature of his stay is evident. The Four Seasons Hotel in Riyadh has unveiled the Kingdom Suite, a duplex spanning the 48th and 50th floors, offering breathtaking views of the city. Cristiano Ronaldo is enjoying this luxurious experience without needing to worry about the details. The expansive suite covers more than 3,500 square feet, a result of a multi-million dollar makeover orchestrated under the guidance of Saudi billionaire Prince Al-Walid bin Talal Al Saud. Over 18 months, the grand project was completed and is indeed the splendid embodiment of luxury. The crowning achievement of this refinement is the Kingdom Suite, a symbol of opulence. Staying a night in this lavish haven costs $10,665, a small price for the promise of a luxurious experience. Georgina Rodriguez, the partner of the Real Madrid legend, reportedly finds the hotel delightful, as with Within the hotel, there is a mall that boasts renowned shops like Louis Vuitton and Zara. Amidst this opulence, you can also relish the services of a private butler, wholly committed to ensuring your desires are met and seamlessly enhancing your stay. For Ronaldo's culinary preferences, a diverse array of cuisines awaits, encompassing options from China, Japan, India, and the Middle East. Furthermore, the establishment offers additional amenities, including a tennis court, a spa, a sauna, and a variety of indulgent massage treatments. Estimations indicate that the final bill for the hotel, where Cristiano Ronaldo and his companions stayed for some weeks, will surpass £250,000. This extravagant stay marks the transition to a more permanent dwelling for his partner, Georgina Rodriguez, and their five beloved children children. Both on and off the field, Cristiano Ronaldo revels in the luxuries of his new realm. Having grown accustomed to the spotlight accompanying his European escapades, the former Real Madrid striker now immerses himself in each passing moment of his newfound kingdom. Within the hotel's embrace, the record-holding top scorer of the game isn't the only beneficiary of Saudi Arabia's allure. His girlfriend and their children are also relishing their time in Riyadh, basking in the splendors of this new chapter. This delightful experience is mirrored in Cristiano's Instagram feed, where he shares snapshots of cherished moments spent with his children and partner Georgina at the expansive Boulevard World. The family revels in the embrace of this sprawling entertainment center, an integral part of Riyadh's festive offerings. Georgina herself has taken to the platform, sharing images from their time in the city with heartfelt captions, honoring Riyadh's beauty. Georgina's presence in Riyadh is notable not only for her relationship with Cristiano, but also for her independent impact. She is a true icon in the city, having attended the Joy Awards even before Ronaldo's arrival. Her distinctive style, adorned with opulent outfits, adds to the city's allure. It's not just quality time that she shares with Cristiano. She also radiates her own remarkable charm. Her Instagram account has become a window into her joyful life, documenting birthday celebrations, adorable moments with the kids, and unforgettable times cruising in their Rolls Royces. It's evident that the Saudi lifestyle resonates deeply with them. And if all of this isn't lavish enough, reports suggest that the family is considering a move to a breathtaking mansion. 
The Portuguese star is reportedly eyeing properties in two of Riyadh's most exclusive neighborhoods. Al Muhammadiyya and Al Nakheel, esteemed neighborhoods in Saudi Arabia, are considered two of the perfect locales. Both are secure, enclosed communities located in close proximity to Al Nasser's Mursul Park Stadium. Within these districts, you can find amenities such as swimming pools, preschools, shops, clinics, gyms, and dining establishments. This implies that Ronaldo would seldom need to venture beyond the community except for training and matches. It's worth noting that alcohol is not available, as it is prohibited throughout the country. What was initially seen as a financial decision has transformed into a lifestyle of grandeur. Cristiano Ronaldo and his family have wholeheartedly embraced Saudi culture. In Riyadh, they radiate happiness, and their stay transcends financial motives. The luxurious Arab deal. Cristiano Ronaldo has openly expressed his enthusiasm for joining the Saudi club, highlighting his eagerness to immerse himself in a fresh football league within a new nation. The club's visionary approach has captivated him, becoming the driving force behind his commitment to Al Nasser until 2025. This deal guarantees Ronaldo the most substantial salary ever witnessed in the history of the sport, an astonishing $207 million. While his core earnings will amount to $75 million, additional financial streams are set to flow from image rights and commercial endorsements. Furthermore, Ronaldo's pivotal role in Saudi Arabia's endeavor to secure the 2030 World Cup will also contribute significantly to his earnings. As per AFP reports, his ambassadorial involvement in the World Cup bid promises an extra $224 million stacked atop his regular. Playing wages, the Saudi team intends to finance the deal through a network of partners, reducing the club's personal investment, which will likely constitute less than half of the comprehensive package. A crucial figure in this arrangement is Mohammed al Kareji, affiliated with the Saudi media group and previously associated with a bid for Chelsea. Additionally, governmental backing has been pivotal in actualizing this monumental accord. A striking part of the agreement lies in the considerable control bestowed upon Ronaldo in matters relating to football as well as the commercial and ambassadorial dimensions of the club. This authority extends to influencing transfer decisions and playing a pivotal role in shaping the team's trajectory. Amidst these opulent provisions, speculations arise about Cristiano's potential to wield substantial influence and authority within the club. The whimsical assertion by Eclipse Source, playfully noted by a North American television channel, humorously suggests that the club might as well bear the moniker Cristiano FC if the seasoned forward desires a new coach, such is the magnitude of his impact. In a press conference, Cristiano candidly acknowledged the exceptional nature of his contract. This singular agreement serves as a testament to his extraordinary position and far-reaching influence in the football universe. By bringing in Cristiano Ronaldo, Saudi Arabia is planning on expanding their influence on the international national stage. Saudi Arabia stands as a profoundly affluent nation, contributing a substantial 17% to the global petroleum output, earning it a resounding international reputation. At the helm of Saudi Arabia's transformation, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has invested massively in the public investment fund, PIF the nation's primary sovereign wealth fund. His strategic vision aims to steer the world's foremost oil-exporting nation away from fossil fuel dependency and towards economic diversification. Under his stewardship, PIF has undergone remarkable growth, evolving from a dormant sovereign wealth fund into a global investment powerhouse. It forges colossal investments, spanning high-tech giants like Uber, as well as other equity ventures, and pledges tens of billions of dollars to funds administered by Japan's SoftBank. With visionary ambition, the kingdom has committed committed an impressive $500 billion to materialize a cutting-edge business enclave known as NEOM. Moreover, $200 billion has been invested in creating a carbon-free city within NEOM to house a thriving community of 1 million inhabitants. Plans are in place to infuse approximately $40 billion annually into the local economy until 2025. As these transformative initiatives take shape, Saudi Arabia's horizon extends to embrace sports diversification. Embedded within its Vision 2030 Inches strategy, Saudi Arabia identifies sport as a cornerstone of its evolution. The nation is ardently investing in a myriad of sectors, seeking to untether its economy from the confines of finite oil reserves, and sports holds a prominent position among them. This investment isn't merely monetary. It's a dedication to nurturing grassroots engagement in sports for both men and women. Simultaneously, it's 
the cultivation of a professional elite tier environment to empower Saudi athletes, national teams and clubs across all sporting disciplines to excel and thrive. In the realm of professional soccer transfers, the Saudi Pro League SPL clubs have taken center stage, dominating headlines. Reports of Saudi Pro League clubs making substantial bids for renowned players. Cristiano Ronaldo's transition to Al Nasser has set a precedent, opening pathways for numerous professionals. The alluring combination of transfer fees and wages that these clubs present is proving hard to resist. With no stringent financial constraints in place, these Saudi Pro clubs are offering players significantly higher earnings than their previous affiliations. The question arises, what drives these clubs to invest so generously, and what is their overarching vision? The signing of Cristiano Ronaldo stands as the zenith in the Saudi Pro League's history. Many teams, particularly from Europe, vied to secure the Portuguese international services. Yet Ronaldo chose to embrace a new chapter in the Middle East, now savouring his football journey in Saudi Arabia. Following suit, Karim Benzema, Ronaldo's former teammate, swiftly joined the Saudi league, swayed by a lucrative offer. Notably, Nagolo Kante, another prominent name, is also poised to make his mark in Saudi Arabia. A recent surge in investment has been witnessed, with the Public Investment Fund, PIF, the proprietor of Newcastle United channeling substantial resources into the Saudi Pro League. This strategic maneuver has granted them a commanding 75% stake in clubs such as Al Ittihad, Al Ali, Al Nasser and Al Hilal. With a net valuation exceeding $600 billion, the PIF's imprint is undeniably significant. Reports underscore Saudi Arabia's ambitious goal to elevate football league revenue, propelling it into the ranks of the top 10 leagues globally. Unfettered by financial regulations, Saudi clubs are empowered to offer generous salaries that entice players to the Middle East. The Saudi Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman, has initiated a privatization plan focusing on football clubs, allowing corporations and development entities to invest in or acquire clubs. The aim is to escalate league-generated revenue to $480 million by 2030, up from $120 million, while simultaneously surging the market value beyond $2.1 billion. As a contender for hosting the FIFA World Cup 2030, Saudi Arabia aspires to etch its name alongside Qatar, the host of the 2022 edition. Attracting premier players, the Middle East nation is rapidly gaining prominence in the football arena. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman regards sports as pivotal in elevating the country's international political and economic stature. Anticipation builds as the race for hosting the 2030 FIFA World Cup unfolds. Saudi Arabia and its resurgent Saudi Pro League are currently in the spotlight. Their mission is clear nurturing football within their nation to ascend the ranks and claim a spot among the world's premier leagues. The Saudi ruling royal family boasts a staggering net worth of approximately $1.4 trillion, which is a remarkable 16 times greater than that of the British royal family. This impressive wealth springs from extensive oil reserves discovered 75 years ago, transforming the nation's destiny and crowning the House of Saud as the world's wealthiest family. J, nearly 15,000 royal family members dwelling in opulent palaces lay claim to this $1.4 trillion treasure as per the House of Saud. The keystone of this sprawling fortune is the state-owned oil giant Saudi Aramco, counted among the globe's most valuable and lucrative companies. The family's reputation is intertwined with a lifestyle of enviable grandeur, a disposition that has drawn sharp criticism for its extravagant extravagance and ostentation. Family members are known for their lavish spending, from exorbitant indulgences such as super yachts and private jets to instigating conflicts in the Middle East. The ruling family's lifestyle offers a glimpse into a world of excess. Within their domain, gold-adorned super yachts and private jets coexist with palaces and furnishings crafted from the precious metal. Even tissue paper is extracted from gold-plated dispensers, embodying luxury at its zenith. In 2017, the 34-year-old Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, often referred to as MBS, orchestrated the purchase of Leonardo da Vinci's 500-year-old masterpiece, Salvatore Mundi, with an extravagant sum of $450.3 million. The sale of the artwork, alternatively titled Jesus Christ, set a new record for an art auction. The prince has also invested a sum exceeding $300 million in the Chateau Louis XIV, situated in France, a property famously dubbed the world's most costly residence by Fortune magazine. 
This chateau boasts a remarkable array of features, including 10 bedrooms, both indoor and outdoor pools, a cinema, a well-stocked wine cellar, and a moat complete with a transparent underwater chamber. The Saudi royal family is one marked by lavishness that reverberates from grand vessels to iconic artworks, defining a realm where excess knows no bounds. Like MSB, Cristiano Ronaldo would definitely be ready to flaunt his wealth and enjoy the luxury of the kingdom. There are a number of attractions and places in Saudi Arabia and the Gulf region entirely. Jeddah holds a distinctive position among cities, renowned for its opulence and extravagance. Its streets adorned with designer shops and boutiques, Jeddah offers a parallel to the renowned Champs-Élysées of Paris, providing an experience akin to strolling through high fashion. Within its realms, those endowed with substantial means can partake in a realm of sophistication and indulgence, rendering it an alluring haven for individuals like Ronaldo. Another captivating destination unfolds in the form of Al Ahsa, an oasis nestled within Saudi Arabia's eastern province. This gem beckons as an essential stop for explorers, brimming with natural splendor, a captivating past, and a profound cultural legacy. Al Ahsa is a realm where history and nature coalesce. Its hallmark lies in the verdant palm groves, which contribute to its sea scenic vistas, resonating with the ancient roots of the nation. In al Asa's allure, the ancient city of al Qara stands as an awe-inspiring monument. al Asa National Park, resplendent with grandeur, is a wonderful site for exploration. The enchanting al Hofuf oasis invites visitors and tourists. These renowned sites extend an exceptional opportunity for travelers to immerse themselves in the grandeur of natural, wonders and cultural heritage alike. Prominent among the treasures of al Asa are the al Qara Caves, a destination of unparalleled allure. Situated very close to Hofuf, these caves offer an extraordinary experience. Within their depths, visitors can marvel at the intricate formations sculpted by water erosion. The cool ambience provides a serene contrast to the outside heat, rendering it an ideal spot for romantic escapes or honeymoons in Saudi Arabia. al Asa is certain to craft cherished memories for couples seeking a unique and enchanting adventure. For those yearning for exhilarating escapades in Saudi Arabia, while also indulging in the region's natural magnificence and rich cultural heritage, Al Asa National Park emerges as the perfect destination. Al Asa National Park is a highly coveted haven that attracts nature lovers. The park offers an array of outdoor pursuits, making it an irresistible playground for hiking, camping, and leisurely picnics amid its captivating landscapes. The park also has a diverse array of flora and fauna, such as the elusive Arabian oryx and the mesmerizing Garda tree. For those seeking a harmonious blend of history, beauty, and cultural immersion, Al Asa is a wonderful site, offering a genuine taste of Saudi Arabia's essence. In addition, Ronaldo can also choose to have a wonderful experience in Dubai. Dubai presents a tantalizing experience at Palm Jumeirah, the world's largest man-made island, conceived with a staggering investment of $12 billion. This awe-inspiring creation has become a magnet for global celebrities. English football icon David Beckham, for instance, owns a lavish $16 million mansion with in Palm Jumeirah, a gift recently bestowed upon his in-laws. Likewise, Bollywood superstar Shah Rukh Khan possesses a splendid six-bedroom mansion at Palm Jumeirah, considering it one of his cherished staycation destinations. The allure of Palm Jumeirah transcends its celebrity residence, drawing luminaries like Kim Kardashian, Priyanka Chopra, Robert De Niro, and numerous other A-list figures who seek refuge in its opulent hotels. As Cristiano Ronaldo enjoys his splendid time in Saudi Arabia, residing within the lap of luxury in Riyadh's most opulent residences, it's worth noting that he enjoys living in luxurious houses and has a number of these houses scattered around the world. Before moving to Saudi Arabia, the 38-year-old was drawing a weekly wage of $630,000 during his stint with Manchester, united with several multi-million dollar endorsements, including a monumental $1 billion lifetime deal with Nike. With such substantial resources at his disposal, it's no surprise that the individual with the largest Instagram following, currently at 603 million, boasts a real estate portfolio that most can only imagine. Ronaldo's journey into real estate began with the acquisition of his inaugural English home for $7.1 million, a few years after joining the prestigious Manchester United. Situated in Alderley Edge, a posh village 15 miles from Manchester known to attract affluent homeowners and renowned soccer players, including David and Victoria Beckham from 2001 to 2005, this this modern three-story red brick marvel featured five bedrooms, an indoor pool, a steam room, a theatre and a gym during his tenure. 
Transitioning from Manchester United to Real Madrid in 2009, Ronaldo's stay persisted until 2018. During this period, the five-time Ballon d'Or winner acquired an expansive property comprising two ultra-modern mansions in La Finca, one of Madrid's most esteemed neighborhoods. Encompassing 8,600 square feet, these two luxurious builds from 2010 bore the signature of famed Spanish architect to the stars, Joaquin Torres. The larger of the two properties boasts seven bedrooms and eight bathrooms, characterized by distinctive features. To leave no doubt about ownership, Ronaldo's initials graced the metal detailing of the front door. The property's stand standout feature could well be the spa on the first floor, adorned with black-lined indoor pools, a jacuzzi, a sauna, and even a cryo chamber within serene white chambers. Back in 2015, reports emerged that Ronaldo had acquired an apartment in Lisbon for approximately $2 million. This particular property, while not the most secluded in the footballer's collection, holds residents on Avenida de Liberdade, Lisbon's priciest shopping avenue, designed with a touch of inspiration from Paris's Champs-Élysées. With his move to the esteemed Italian soccer club Juventus in 2018, Ronaldo and his family established a home base in Turin. Nestled atop a hill in Strada San Vito Rovigliasco, an exclusive enclave within Turin, the goal-scoring maestro's estate comprises two contemporary villas, wrapped with extensive glass windows and doors through which one can view the city below. Despite its elevated position, the compound enjoys seclusion behind verdant trees and is accessible solely through a winding, heavily guarded driveway. Inside, opulent polished marble takes center stage, and naturally the Residence is replete with the essential amenities a gym, a spa, an indoor pool, a sprawling backyard, and a well maintained garden. In the same year, Ronaldo made headlines by acquiring the most costly apartment ever sold in Lisbon at a staggering $7 million. Situated not far from his other abode in the Portuguese capital, this three bedroom modern masterpiece boasts a spa, a gym, an indoor and rooftop pool, and a lengthy terrace complete with a glass balustrade affording panoramic city views and glimpses of nearby gardens. Abundant glass Glass walls and hardwood floors grace the interior, contributing to its contemporary charm. Even amidst his international stardom, Ronaldo's ties to his birthplace remain strong, as evident by his possession of a residence in the capital of his native Madeira, a scenic island region in Portugal. In 2019, Ronaldo undertook the transformation of a former warehouse and nightclub near Funchal's port into a contemporary seven-story palace, investing approximately $8 million. Rising four stories above the ground, this architectural marvel boasts a rooftop pool that offers mesmerizing ocean vistas. The edifice further houses two state-of-the-art gyms and an indoor pool, making it an opulent haven. It's worth noting that Ronaldo's brother and mother are reported to be permanent occupants of this lavish abode. The Ronaldo family has also extended their real estate portfolio to include a villa in Costa del Sol Marbella, a locale often referred to as the Superstars cul-de-sac. Due to its celebrity residence, this four-bedroom holiday retreat, valued at $1.6 million, occupies a gated community and commands scenic views of the Mediterranean Sea from its perch on the fringes of a golf course. Characterized by its modern white facade and two-story structure, the villa features expansive glass walls, high ceilings, a pool, a wine cellar, a gym, and a home theatre. In preparation for his potential return to Portugal upon retirement, the Ronaldo family is orchestrating the creation of a new mansion in Quinta da Marinha, affectionately known as the Portuguese Riviera. Acting as a UNICEF ambassador, Ronaldo secured a 2.47-acre plot adjacent to a golf clubhouse. Plans are underway to potentially relocate the clubhouse to enhance privacy and restore the star unobstructed view, the land was procured for approximately $7.2 million, while construction expenses now stand at around $20 million. CR7 intends to build a sprawling 30-car garage to house his prized automobile collection. Envisaged features include capacious bedroom suites with panoramic Atlantic Ocean vistas, indoor and outdoor swimming pools, a theater, a spa, and a games room. Some sources even hint that this is the most expensive house in Portugal, and while we can easily count the number of houses he owns, the legendary striker finds it difficult to note the number of cars in his collection. Cars, yachts, and private jets. Saudi Arabia is internationally renowned for its opulent way of life, and this extravagance resonates prominently in the domain of automobiles. The country's reputation for having a high number of persons with luxurious cars has become a widely recognized global phenomenon. The well-to-do individuals and elite class in Saudi Arabia exhibit a discerning preference for the most exceptional and lavish vehicles, spanning from sleek sports cars to sophisticated SUVs. As such, the appetite for top-tier automobiles has given birth to a thriving luxury car market in the region, drawing esteemed manufacturers such as Rolls-Royce, Bentley, BMW and more. 
The attraction to deluxe automobiles in Saudi Arabia transcends mere status display. It encompasses their unmatched performance, extraordinary comfort and impeccable style. Catering to speed enthusiasts as well as those seeking unparalleled luxury, these high-end cars hold a universal appeal across diverse preferences. The luxury car market within the nation is thriving, with each passing year ushering in cutting-edge models and innovative technologies. Clearly, this continuous expansion further cements Saudi Arabia's identity as a hub for the finest and most expensive automobiles in the Middle East. The kingdom's love for extravagant cars remains a defining hallmark of its lavish lifestyle and refined automotive tastes. Cristiano Ronaldo's collection of automobiles stands as a testament to his grand lifestyle vividly reflecting his expensive preferences and substantial wealth. With ownership of over 20 lavish cars, let's delve into the superstar's car selections. Unquestionably among the most prized possessions in Ronaldo's garage are the trio of Bugatti masterpieces, the Bugatti Centro Dieci, Bugatti Chiron and Bugatti Veyron. These three exemplify opulence and craftsmanship in the most exceptional manner, among the myriad extravagant. Acquisitions Ronaldo has made over the years none come close to the pinnacle of his purchases, the $12 million limited edition Bugatti Centro Dieci. He stands as one of merely 10 individuals worldwide to possess this extraordinary beast and bought the car to mark his 36th birthday. Renowned for accelerating from 0 to 100 kmh in a mere 2.4 seconds, the Bugatti Cento Dieci commands a breathtaking top speed of 380 kmph. This Bugatti wasn't his inaugural encounter with the brand. Prior to the Cento Dieci, Ronaldo had already secured the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse and the Bugatti Chiron the latter being the focal point of a promotional video filmed in his very own garage. The recent inclusion in Ronaldo's illustrious collection is the Ferrari Monza, rumored to be valued just above $1.95 million. Curiously, Ronaldo momentarily skipped training to acquire this vehicle, coinciding with AC Milan's humbling victory over Juventus at the San Siro. This act stirred significant attention among media and fans alike. However, it was solely a testament to his affection for his newest addition, bearing no relation to the club's defeat. Of course, this wasn't Ronaldo's maiden encounter with the prancing horse. Already boasting ownership of a Ferrari F12 TDF, a Ferrari 599 GTO, a Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano, and a Ferrari F430, Ronaldo's collection encompasses a total of five Ferrari cars. Ranking among the world's most elusive automobiles, the McLaren Senna claims a spot in Ronaldo's expansive garage. With only 500 units ever produced, this marvel carries a price tag of approximately $1.06 million. Honoring the legendary F1 racer Ayrton Senna, this supercar is equipped with a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 engine and can accelerate from 0 to 100 kmph in a mere 2.8 seconds. For his 35th birthday, Ronaldo received yet another addition, this time a gift from his girlfriend, Georgina Rodriguez. It was the enhanced version of the Mercedes G-Wagon, meticulously tuned by Brabus, with a cost exceeding $850,000. Ronaldo expressed his astonishment by sharing, thanks my love for this amazing surprise on Instagram. A speed demon present in Ronaldo's extensive collection is the Lamborghini Aventador LP700. Four, for which he shelled out over $318,000. When one possesses such refined automotive preferences, owning a Bentley is nearly inevitable, and Ronaldo embraces this sentiment. His Bentley Continental GT, costing over $220,000, epitomizes sheer power and athletic agility, melded seamlessly with opulent design. No matter how extensively one discusses the sports icon's automobiles, it remains challenging to encapsulate the grandeur. In summary, his remarkable collection also features a Mercedes-AMG GLE 63, a Mercedes-Benz C-Class sports coupe, a Rolls-Royce Phantom, Porsche 911 Turbo S, an Audi RS7, an Audi Q7, an Audi RS6, a BMW M6, a Porsche Cayenne, Porsche 911 Carrera 2S Cabriolet, a Porsche Cayenne Turbo, and a Maserati Gran Cabrio. Cristiano Ronaldo's opulent lifestyle encompasses more than just luxury cars. It extends to include a private jet, further enhancing his impressive collection of assets. His latest acquisition is the Gulfstream G650, a high-performance business jet renowned for its exceptional speed and range. The G650, which made its maiden flight in 2009 and entered production in 2012, swiftly garnered attention and became a sought-after model among private jet enthusiasts. Renowned for its combination of speed and comfort, the G650 perfectly suits Ronaldo's frequent travels. With the capacity to accommodate up to 18 passengers and sleeping arrangements for 10, the G650 ensures a lavish and restful flying experience. 
Ronaldo's personal touch is evident on the jet, as his logos, including the CR7 emblem and a silhouette of himself sporting his iconic number 7, are prominently displayed at the entrance of the cabin. Initially priced at a staggering $67 million, Ronaldo reportedly secured the G650 for a slightly reduced sum of $64.5 million. Boasting a range of 7,000 nautical miles, the G650 empowers Ronaldo to undertake non-stop flights, conveniently bridging the gap between countries for both his football commitments and personal ventures. With a top speed of Mach 0.9 equivalent to 691 miles per hour and a cruising speed of Mach 0.85 which is 652 miles per hour, the G650 ensures swift and efficient travel for Ronaldo. In 2020, Ronaldo set his sights on a yacht in Viareggio, Italy at the Azimut Benetti shipyards ultimately becoming its owner. Named the Azimut Grande 27, this yacht is characterized by dynamic stability due to its carbon fiber structure, reducing weight and increasing surface area. Achille Salvagni Architects handled the interior design, while super yacht designer Stefano Reghini curated the exterior styling. The yacht boasts a length of 26.78 meters, a width of 6.59 meters, and a maximum speed of 28 knots according to Azimut Yachts, designed for the enjoyment. Of Ronaldo's family, the yacht's interior offers ample space and comfort. It comprises five expansive bedrooms and six equally stunning bathrooms. The two lounge rooms are complemented by a dining table in an adjacent open area, perfect for romantic dinners. The kitchen is equipped with modern appliances to cater to the crew's meal preparation needs. The deck includes an open bar with two lounge areas, allowing passengers to bask in sunlight. The owner's cabin, situated on the yacht's main deck, boasts full-height windows on all sides, offering panoramic ocean views. The Azimut Grande 27 adheres to the highest nautical standards, holding CE Category A and NNMA certifications that ensure compliance with vital safety codes. In the wheelhouse, the yacht features an Optimus electronic power steering system crafted by Seastar Solutions, enabling the owner to configure responses while eliminating hydraulic lines from the helm station. With its active trim control, the super yacht enhances speed and reduces fuel consumption. The yacht costs a total of $7 million. Georgina Rodriguez recently shared multiple photos of the yacht on her social media profiles. From having indoor swimming pools to sub lounges, the yacht is full of luxurious amenities. There are also fashion items from Dior, tablecloths and dining accessories, along with a Louis Vuitton towel set. Spaces to keep luxurious accessories and bags are also there. Click on the next card for more jaw-dropping videos like this.